Hi everyone, I want to talk today about what to do when you need a legal dispute resolved quickly. You don't necessarily have time to wait a year, two years even for the court to resolve your legal issue, but you need an outcome now. That's the topic of today's video. Hi, I'm Alex Martin. I'm a commercial litigation specialist and these are my noble legal tips for business owners. Okay, we're talking today about resolving legal issues quickly. Uh, if you've had, say, a distribution agreement terminated, you might not be able to wait 12 months, 18 months or longer um, to, for the court to resolve who's right and who's wrong in the termination. Uh, you might need to continue to trade your business straight away or if you have a franchise agreement that's been terminated um, or if you have goods sitting on the dock waiting to be released by someone, uh, by a supplier that uh, you're having a dispute with, you might not be able to wait 18 months for the court to order the release. So what do you do? The answer is you apply to the court for an urgent interlocutory injunction. So what does that mean? Um, it, it's, it, it's an urgent application to the court that normally will be heard within two or three days and it's interlocutory which means it's not final so you, you get an order that say the goods be released or that the, the termination is it can't be relied on for the moment until the court make a final decision which will happen at the hearing. So you won't actually resolve your matter entirely but you will usually get an interim order which will preserve the status quo or, or which will protect you so that the subject matter of the proceeding is not destroyed. So if your say franchise agreement is terminated and uh, and you think the termination was invalid you can't wait for 18 months for the for the court to declare that the termination was invalid because you won't be able to trade for the 18 months while you're waiting. So the court will say no the franchise agreement stays in place until such time as the, the court decides who's right and who's wrong. So you were able to continue to trade while you're uh, dealing with the, 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 the substantive dispute which might still take some time. But you can apply to the court within a couple of days and get an an urgent interlocutory injunction to get an order that um, whatever the conduct that you're worried about um, gets set aside uh, and so that you can still have a, a just hearing in the, at the final hearing. Um, in terms of criteria for an urgent interlocutory injunction, you need to prove obviously that the matter's urgent. Um, you need to also prove that the, um, the damages won't be a satisfactory remedy. So if, uh, if it's just a matter of uh, paying, look, you say you're looking to recover some debts and you want to recover those debts quickly, the court won't order an injunction. Uh, they'll just say, well, you can just collect the money later and maybe interest can, um, can compensate you for the delay. So you need to prove that the matter is urgent and that, that money isn't at an adequate remedy to your problem. Um, and you need to prove that on the balance, when they're weighing up the, the balance of convenience, they call it, that's weighing up their interests against your interests, it's more just and more convenient to order the injunction um, than it is to not order it. So if you've got any questions, please message me. But if something urgent comes up, then you need to get legal advice straight away. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.